In the Battle of Britain, about 2,500 fighter aircraft and nearly 3,000 pilots defended the country against waves of German bombers and their escorts. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost. The Spitfire is the best remembered, but they were outnumbered two to one by hurricanes. Both had their own strengths and both played their part. Spitfire factory historian Robin Brooks is a big fan of the Hawker Hurricane. Well, this is a hurricane. In the UK, there are only about seven or eight hurricanes flying. It is a tribute to Hawkers that these are still flying. I, I think the Hurricane is a lovely aircraft. Developed at the same time as the Spitfire, it was bigger, heavier, and a bit slower, but a steadier gun platform. Mainly that the Hurricane hit the German bomber stream. That was the idea, whilst the Spitfires looked after the escorting fighters. 99-year-old Archie McInnes, one of the last surviving members of Churchill's few, swears by the Hurricane. All the time that I was in the RAF, yes, I flew a number of other aircraft, but the Hurricane is the thread that goes right the way through. You had the whole feeling of flight. There you had an aircraft that was responsive to what you asked of it. You make the movements and the aircraft reacts to it. So it is part of you. All of it coalesces into a love of the aircraft itself. I can see why Archie loved it. It was a hurricane, really, that, that carried the Battle of Britain. Um, it could take more punishment than the Spitfire could because from here up to the tailplane is all fabric. Now, that meant it could take severe punishment because the bullets would just go through the... straight through the fabric. It would land, they'd just slap a patch on it, and up she'd go again. It was solid, stable, and did anything that you asked of it. Aged just 21, Archie flew his first sortie on the 9th of October 1940. Oh, look at them. We were all so, so young. Combat is a funny thing because you're up against another aircraft. Um, you can't see the pilot. You certainly don't know him. Um, so it's just an aircraft that's got to be shot down. And if you can, that's what you do. There was an element of fear. Scared of what might happen. That, that scared, more scared in the sense of not doing the right thing. That there was nothing personal in it. You were up uh, each day sitting in the hut. You flew, went back, came up the next day. It was just a job. The Spitfire was another aircraft. I had a hurricane. I never thought about uh, whether they were better than mine. It didn't enter into it. After the Battle of Britain, the squadron moved over to North Africa, and Archie was in a ferocious uh, dogfight. A 109 it was coming in on my left. I never saw any other, but I turned in on him, hard left, climbing. He overshot, and I had him over on my right-hand shoulder and turned hard over to him, and it was just behind him when his number two opened up on me. I could feel the armour plate taking all, and I was hit in the back. There's more in the cockpit. At that point, I knew that I was going to die. And with acceptance of that, it was as though everything was lifted, and I was free, and then I blacked out. There was a little bright light in front of me. As it expanded, I could see a hand was undoing the straps. And as it expanded out, 
I saw that it was my hand that was doing it. And uh, eventually got my helmet off. And then I stood up. And I was flat on the ground. And the aircraft uh, had broken in front and it had broken behind. Archie lost an arm in the crash, but he has little doubt why he didn't lose more than that. A uh, spit would have broken up, almost certainly. I don't think I would have survived that. The hurricane, <coughs> although broken, a particular part that I was in was still in one piece. So in that respect, I have to say, I think it saved my life. While Archie was grounded, he helped design his own prosthetic. And in 1943, he returned to the skies and kept on flying until the end of the war. I've said it only once before. I reckon I died, though. Now I'm waiting to go the second time. 